Hi, hello friends, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Steffi Drew, and uh, if you are new, you are probably here because I am pregnant and you saw the title and this is the content you are here for. This is a continuation of my essentially pregnancy vlog from here on out uh, throughout my pregnancy, but I am Steph from the future uh, because I didn't actually really film an intro to this vlog. I just kind of started vlogging. As of the last um i guess chapter of our like fertility slash pregnancy vlog uh, my cat is just loving the attention um i was just finishing up um week 11 entering week 12. uh so this starts off at about week 12 13 and i'm currently at 14 and a half almost 15 weeks but i wanted to do to also not very much happened um, not very much has changed. Um, it's still pregnant, still feeling, I'm actually feeling really great, but I wanted to do a quick recap on a couple things that I noticed throughout my first trimester before going into this vlog. Oh, you big sucky baby. She just did not get enough attention today because we were out for a walk. Okay, so quick recap. Um, I found out I was pregnant uh, just before about four weeks. We had been going to a fertility clinic for um, just checkups because we had had issues maintaining a pregnancy in the past uh, with two previous early, three previous early losses, the last one being ectopic. So um, we were being monitored by a fertility clinic. So as soon as I found out I was pregnant, went to the fertility clinic, got uh, my regular blood work done, um, confirmed that I was indeed pregnant and uh, they put me on progesterone right away. I was not able to do cycle monitoring and we were not able to get to the point, if you watch my last vlogs, you'll figure it all, all that out, to the point where they were uh, measuring my progesterone to see where it was at, if it was low, but because I hadn't had successful pregnancies in the past, uh, my doctor put me on progesterone as a kind of precursor just to make sure that my body had what it needed to sustain the pregnancy because there were no other huge red flags um, that were indicating why I had been miscarrying in the past. So got all that situated, had very regular ultrasounds throughout pretty much my entire trimester. It was weekly right at the beginning and then after that, um, after we started getting a little bit further along and I was feeling a little bit more settled in my pregnancy. Uh, I was kind of every other week, uh, but still very regular throughout my entire first tri trimester. So that put my mind at ease, at least for the beginning, um, because obviously conceiving after any sort of loss is very, it's an emotional roller coaster. You're excited, but you're nervous, um, terrified. Uh, there was a lot, um, going through my mind through that time and obviously a lot of fear but they did everything that they could to try and ease my mind throughout that process which was um really nice and obviously so that they knew that it was a healthy pregnancy moving forward so it's kind of where we were at there in terms of my actual pregnancy i got hit with morning sickness at about six and a half weeks and it lasted pretty consistently up until about 11 and a half, at which case it started to taper off. Um, for the most part, uh, I was just kind of feeling generally gross. Um, I wasn't violently ill. I didn't throw up every single time I ate. Um, my appetite was just kind of low. The idea of eating sometimes was just kind of like, I didn't really feel like it. Um, I ate a lot of watermelon uh, because that was the easiest thing to eat. Uh, and it was also hydrating, which obviously you know that you need to hydrate. Um, and so that was something that I ate a lot of. Um, I realized why pickles are a pregnancy stereotype. They're just so good and they taste so fresh and crunch crunchy and they're literally everything I would ever want to eat pretty much at every, any given time. I didn't have like a specific craving that was like, I need dill pickles right now, but I do really like them. But in terms of morning sickness, I would say obviously never having actually experienced it before, that it was pretty mild overall. And it was usually just in the morning with some like general queasiness sometimes in the evening. 
um, but nothing that I needed medication for. And for the most part, like I said, it seems to be gone by now. Um, though sometimes um, the, my biggest trigger was brushing my teeth. I don't know if it was like the feeling of the toothpaste on my tongue or what, but as soon as my gag reflex got triggered, that's usually kind of what started it. And then, and then that's where we were. So not the greatest, but we seem to be on the other side. Back to food. Uh, I have not really had any specific cravings. Um, every once in a while I would see something and be like, oh, chicken McNuggets on a commercial. That seems like a good idea. Let's get that for lunch. Or if we're in the grocery store, I'd be like, you know what? I want that pie. We're going to have pie today. Uh, but nothing that I've had to be like, I need to like Uber Eats this right in the second because like I cannot think of anything else. I did have a like two days where I very specifically did think that a egg salad sandwich was the best option for me to eat. I have never in my life reached for or thought I want an egg salad sandwich except for those two separate days. I've also never made an egg salad sandwich because it's never been something that I've been like, hmm, like it's just not what I've, <laughs> but those days it was, it was, and it was so good. And I make a mean egg salad sandwich, I guess. I mean, it hit the spot then. So I'm just assuming that it was really good. Uh, if you particularly love egg salad sandwiches, please don't ask me to make one because I have not really anything to compare to. In terms of my body, uh, the only thing that I really noticed throughout my first trimester, um, I would say for the most part was like tenderness on the edges of my boobs. They do feel a little bit fuller. They like were definitely feeling fuller and heavier, uh, but and and just sore, so 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 sore. Also, general bloating. Um, here and there, I think that as my body is transitioning and shifting and everything's moving inside, um, in the evenings, I tend to feel and look a little bit more bloated. For the last couple of weeks, it's been a lot more noticeable, especially in the evenings when I eat a little bit more, uh, have like a bigger dinner or eat a bunch of snacks, have a bunch of water or anything along those lines. Um, by the evening, I'll usually get into bed and be like, I look pregnant, which is very odd, um, but that I've that's kind of how it's been going. And my sense of smell, which I believe that I touched on that already in my last video, but that's been holding on strong. I am superwoman. I have a super sense of smell. Um, that is my superpower. I hope it never goes away because that's that's it. That's all I got. Other than that, for the most part, my first three months. Um, I would say not a lot has really changed. I was, there was a couple of weeks where I was very, very exhausted. Um, and I'm just generally out of breath these days. Um, I think that my energy levels are, are back, but, uh, yeah. Quick little recap on the last three months. Um, now looking forward, I did not vlog anything for my 12th week of pregnancy. Um, believe I started around week 13 um, and had some really big and exciting things happen. So continue watching and we will, I will see you guys uh, at week 13. Today, I like don't know if I should like, cause like. Just let it out, be natural. Don't suck it in, that's cheating. It. Hopefully it turned out. Cause like right now, if I, I mean, I have pizza, so this is like, what? Pizza baby. This is my pizza baby. But like, if I like stand like that, that's like kind of what I would be comfortable. This is just letting letting her hang out. <laughs> I don't know this body. Right, have a <laughs> Worst. <laughs> Hello friends, it is June 25th. We're walking through, I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but like all these like fluffy... It's snowing. It's yeah, January. snowing January. in June. <laughs> January, um, it's June 25th. And today 
Uh, we have lots of fun things going on today. Um, my best friend is in town and we're kind of like double dipping and also using her to take some photos today because we are taking our announcement photo. Um, hopefully it's gonna be quick and easy. Uh, because we're due around New Year's, we're going for a New Year's theme on the beach. Uh, so we're just trying to find a spot along the water that's relatively quiet. -ish. So yeah, we're gonna, we have some champagne that we're gonna pop. Um, champagne for Adam. I'm just, <laughs> no warm champagne. It's just a prop. Champagne for Belinda. <laughs> Uh, and I have little New Year's hats, which you guys will see. New Year's crowns. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna find a spot and uh, hope for the best. Someone just sabotaged this whole baby shoot and um, was engaged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did it. And Belinda knew this whole time. I'm a speaker. <laughs> no, no, well, I mean, for like a week. Yeah, like. Well, coming up and like. So, anyways. Um, Got you. It's really pretty. I'll take better photos. And Belinda took some really good photos, so. Cheers. Oh, Cheers. So Cheers. <laughs> Slash, come come in for a, I'll take a photo while we're also taking the video. Both. Video. both. Oh, you can do both at once? Both at once. Where's your hat? Yeah, Is it taking them? I don't know. Yeah. So we're at for a little celebratory lunch. Um, one, we were hungry. Two, um, we were just got engaged. So, celebrate. <laughs> Um, so we're at Penny's here. Show. Old Sangria. I'm obviously having a super outfit. Uh, just a slushy. It's just a slushy. Uh, yeah. Part two or three or whatever part of today. Uh, we just arrived to Budweiser stage. See the chicks. Several days later. About to hit the road, but first. You gotta fuel up. Uh, 14 weeks pregnant, McDonald's breakfast is pretty much necessary. Uh, but we're gonna head up to the cottage, to his friend's cottage, and <clears throat> have a little staycay vacay uh, for the beginning of our week off. All right, so the boys are like body surfing or boogie boarding or whatever right now. Um, so I've got a small story time while I'm out on the beach. Um, I am wearing a sweater on the beach because we were just on a different beach and went in the water for a while and it is very windy. So I got a little bit chilly. I get cold easily in general. Um, but one of the funny things that <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a bit of a strange conversation for me to have on the internet, but also for anybody else that is pregnant or have gone, has gone through pregnancy or may go through pregnancy, um, hearing things like this from other people, I always find valuable because, uh, obviously I, it's just nice to know other people's experiences. Anyways, um, I have been experiencing much more nipple sensitivity, um, than I've ever, ever, ever experienced before. Um, I, they get cold a lot easier. They get very like outward a lot easier than they ever have before. Um, and after going in the lake today, uh, they were so cold that they hurt so much. Um, 
and I have never experienced that before. And uh, so I am in a sweater trying to warm up and trying to um, calm them down. <laughs> so if this is any indication what breastfeeding is gonna be like, uh, uh, here we are, I guess we're in it. Anyways, uh, yeah, pregnancy is weird. <laughs> okay, it is late July 4th. I am 14 weeks and four days, five days, four days, 14 weeks and four days pregnant. Um, and this won't be long. I just wanted to document today because I think today is the first day that I like found Bino. Uh, this morning I woke up with like a hard lump on my lower abdomen, like right under, I have my shorts open because I've been trying to like poke around, but right kind of like here under my belly button. And it was just like the hardest lump. And like, uh, yeah, I was just like, okay, like I'm pretty sure that's where the baby is. As soon as I got up, I think everything kind of like settled. Um, so then I like couldn't feel anything, but like it was a very obvious lump, which was pretty crazy. No like obvious movement that I've noticed yet, but a really obvious lump. And then, so all day, like we're, we were at the cottage, went for a drive, we went for lunch. We just like had a nice chill day. Um, obviously a busy day um, and didn't feel or notice anything all day since and then we just finished watching Stranger Things and uh, while we were watching I was kind of like poking around a little bit and then I had a small lump lower um, but on like the like lower right hand side so I'm pretty sure that he's or he, he or she is big enough uh, if I say he it's just because that's what I'm automatically saying we don't know and we're not gonna know um, but yeah, it's big enough that like we can lo I can locate it here and there. Um, so I'm just super looking forward to waking up tomorrow morning to see if um, it's more visible and noticeable in the morning. Um, and it makes me even more excited to actually like feel the baby, um, not just by like poking around at it, but like feel it moving so hopefully soon I know it's early and a lot of people don't feel anything for a while in terms of movement but I'm hoping that I'm lucky and get to feel it soon so we will see just wanted to document that uh yeah very excited today's date is Wednesday July 6th we are on the road um, I head out for a project tomorrow, so we're doing a little bit of an adventure day while we still have a week off together. Sorry for the bumpiness. I am, uh, roads are atrocious. Um, so we are headed out of the city again for the day, a little day trip out to the sandbanks. Um, it's also my last day and there is traffic. Uh, it's also my last day of week 14 of this pregnancy. Continue so. straight on. Thanks. Good girl. Uh, yeah, last day of week 14 of this pregnancy. Um, so I think bring you along today um, to share a day with you guys because I think it'll be nice and fun. We've never been to the sandbags. Uh, and then that'll be it for this week uh, because next or this weekend in particular is going to be fun, busy, crazy, uh, and I will bring you along. May not be as pregnancy focused unless something crazy happens and I like feel a baby or something, but um, yeah, I'll bring you along, so. Quite literally, perfect day aside from, it's kind of cloudy. The sun kind of keeps coming in and out, but we relocated to a spot where there's almost nobody some people kind of in the distances. Looks like we're on Mars. <laughs> Almost. Hey, did you have a good day? I had a great day. We had a really nice day. We did. It got <laughs> sunny. 
Yeah, it was pretty cloudy when we first got to the beach. Also, my beard looks really dark in this light. Less red. Maybe we will have a red head. We had a really nice day at Sandbanks today. Uh, it was very cloudy to start, so both of us were a little like, oh, this is fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's drive all the way here for a cloudy, gross day, but yeah. it turned out to be nice. Trying not to like feel like we wasted a drive, uh, but we did some like exploring along the dunes, which was really cool, and, uh, and then we found another beach and the sun came out, so it turned out to be... Uh, really nice and a really nice last day and we had a really nice dinner well, I mean like the dinner itself was okay but like we had dinner with a view so it was really nice so overall a really perfect last day I would say last day right what do you mean well because I have to go tomorrow it's the last goodbye forever the last day I'm gone um for the next couple days so last day and my last day of week 14 tomorrow is week Week 14, what, what? Bino is 15 weeks. Wait, tomorrow is 15 weeks? Yeah. 15 weeks, what, what? 15 weeks tomorrow. Let's so. go, Bino. Very excited about that. But that'll be... Oh, also, dealt with the most horrible gas pain, so... <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but I'm not pregnant. Mine were, like, so uncomfortable on the drive up, so... Add that to another list of symptoms and of things that I've never really dealt with before. Um, I don't know what I ate or what specifically, or maybe it's just from eating breakfast in general. I don't know, but yeah, it's very not comfortable. But I will put up with it if it means being out is happy and healthy and we'll get to the other side. But that is it, and that is all. We are home now and have to be up very early. I also kind of wanted to edit this and get it out before he left, so we'll see how that goes. Good luck on that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one, uh, potentially North Carolina. Bye. Bye. Bye.